here, can you do a quick demo of uh, how it works? Sure. So let's just uh, take this in a, as an example. So basically what we do is um, we supply these application templates which have all the necessary uh, driver code and stuff to, to be able to program your application onto one of the development boards, uh, uh, STM32 development boards. So in this case, this is uh, an application made for the uh, STM32 F769 Discovery. And we just have two screens. So we have a uh, screen one with a button and an image. And basically what the designer will do is generate screen definition code for you in Bus. You take this code with you into your favorite compiler like ID or Pile uh, or uh, IR. And, and for each of these images, uh, the uh, tools of TouchGFX will do the conversion into some plus uh, pixel arrays for that, those particular image formats or those particular glyphs in your font that you're using for that particular size and the quality. Uh, and basically, uh, then what we'll do is just uh, to add some uh, life to this application is use something we call interactions. So for instance, this, this particular interaction will uh, transfer uh, um, control to a screen two using a, uh, let's do a slide transition uh, from the east. And basically this screen will do the same thing for another button that has a text just going the other way. Uh, if we take a look at some of the code that's being generated by the designer, it's going in here. So this is uh, something that's modified by the designer, so anything you write in here will get overwritten. But you can, uh, what you also get is, uh, what you also get is uh, a concrete implementation of the, that particular class inside here that you can use to modify and do whatever you want, custom, in your own code. Uh, it it will, will not get overwritten by the designer. So um, let's see what happens when we, uh, we uh, add this interaction. So this interaction was doing the screen transition, right? So what actually happens is uh, the designer will generate a callback and we can we recognize this from what we did in the designer, right? So it is going to screen two using a slide transition. And something else we've done is add a new interaction that calls a uh, virtual function, it's called func. And this is something that you can implement as a developer to uh, make the button call something in your backend, right? To make the button, yeah. Yeah, make the button turn on an LED or whatever, uh, send something through a queue to another peripheral task or something else. Uh, so let's see this uh, running in the simulator. So basically the design has nothing to do with target hardware. It just, it's just a generator for screen definitions in C++ and a generator for uh, C++ code for your image assets that you can place in uh, external bot spy memory. And this will get moved by the Chroma chip uh, to the frame buffer using uh, hardware alpha blending. So here's the uh, here's the demo that we made. It's just a simple demo. And basically, when we press this button, run target, what will happen then is that uh, it'll execute this particular command. So you can kind of hook into these commands and uh, execute whatever you want. So in our case, uh, for the application templates, what happens is that it will just call a make file that knows how to flash this particular board because we know the quad spy uh, chip is on there. So uh, if we just press run target, now it'll uh, call make, it'll compile using ARMGCC, it'll program the board using STLink with this particular flash loader for, for the uh, stm 32 f 769 discovery. All right. So let's just wait a bit. We can see, so while it's doing that, let's have a look at some of the code that's being generated for, by the uh, image converter. So you can see here, for the uh, one state of the button, it's just gener generating a huge sparse array of uh, pixel data for this particular image format, these dimensions. So that's, uh, that's one of the states for the button. Right? So it's still programming target code. So it's flashing the target right here? Yeah, this cable is a bit wonky, so sometimes you will probably say it can't connect to target now. Okay. So it's important to have good cable. Yeah. And, um, so uh, is that the final uh, step or? So what happens demo? now is that, uh, 
Z couldn't connect to Shaga. I'll just do it again. Yeah. Uh, so what happens now is that the designer and the image converter tools and the font converter tools have generated all the necessary C++ code for this particular application. Uh, then you'll just uh, take your other C++ code, put it into your IR card project, and then you'll start your operating system task, maybe a free artist, and start your scheduler, and then the uh, some external signal will uh, will trigger the uh, hardware abstraction layer in ChargeFX and will take the application and keep it running. Uh, and then render uh, some of these screens to the frame buffer, which will then get clocked out uh, by the LCD controller to the screen. Yes. Yeah. So, so this, that's this is uh, the easiest way to do advanced UIs. Uh, yeah. So now it's done flashing, and we can faces. see the uh, application we made. So it's pretty fast to get started with prototyping if you have one of these development boards because you can just select. Uh, these templates, and they're guaranteed to work. Uh, you can also, if you want, since 5.0 of Cubemx, you can now select, uh, this is graphics framework. This is uh, choosing the board selector here. Then you can just, what happens then if you generate your project over here, generate your code, what happens is that you'll get a TouchDFX project uh, here. So you might recognize the structure from Cube firmware pack applications and demos. And what's new is that you'll get this uh, uh, folder here, the ChargeFX folder, which is the same structure as usual. And you'll have some target-specific code here, uh, touch controller implementation for this particular screen, uh, DMA health support for DSi. And all this stuff will then get uh, imported into this particular IR project in this case. But uh, so we're constantly adding uh, support or improving support with Cubemx. Uh, so the integration is kind of ongoing, but we are working uh, constantly with the Cubemx team to improve uh, integration.